Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got ourselves another bat from SluggerSlowPitch.com. We got the Louisville Slugger Genesis, guys, the Iron Man. We remember how popular the Iron Man was last year, so we're going to go try this 2024 version out this year. So me and Aaron are going to be out there in Wake Forest, North Carolina. We're going to go put some swings on this for you guys, but before we do that, we will test this for you. And guys, at the end, we will let you know what we think of the bat. So hey, let's get started. Guys, we are going to test the new Louisville Slugger Iron Man. So that is testing 1750, 1850. 1850 on my tester is it's right around 311, guys. 311. Hey, real quick guys we before we went out there to the field i went and took this bat and put about 60 swings on it with the fat guy bp balls which are 52 300 uh bp balls um so i was just trying to kind of easily break this in and that was before we got out here to the field um i'll put the link down below for those balls guys if you want to pick some up Okay, guys, we're going to go over the 2024 Louisville Slugger Iron Man, guys. This features their 13-inch Power X Coil technology, guys. Um, you can order these in sizes of 25 ounces all the way up to 28. And, of course, as you just saw, we have they do come with the removable pyramid grip. And, guys, these will be coming out on this Wednesday, July the 3rd, I believe it is. And this feature, this is the Iron Man, and it's like I said, this is a 13-inch barrel, and it's balanced. The Iron Mans are always have been balanced, and that is a really cool paint job. That one's sounding good. Yeah. I just like kind of threw your hands at it. I did. I was trying to go to that hole, too, kind of. For 26 balances. This ball is carrying with this bat. Yeah. Well, that ball right there, I mean, like, that one went pretty far, and I feel like, again, you didn't really swing that hard. No, I, yeah, you don't have to. Okay, guys, we're out here in Wake Forest, North Carolina at Flaherty Park. It's a 300-foot fence all the way around. Guys, we're using some short porch Pro-Ms, Icons, and Freedom Balls, which are all basically 44400 or 44375. 44, guys, I'll put a link down below for short porch with a discount code to help you save some money. Guys, we are going to scale the 26 ounce Iron Man Louisville Slugger. It's a 26 ounce coming in at 26.1 ounces. In load coming in at like 15.9. And let's see oh, if I can get the hand weight for you guys. It, it'll stay up there. 10 2 on the hands, guys. And it is the Iron Man from Louisville Slugger. Hey, temperature-wise that night, guys, it was in the mid-80s. It was starting to drop, and we got a little bit of a breeze, but earlier that day it was up around 95, 96 degrees. So it, 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 the temperature did drop, but it was still a little warm and very humid.
All right, guys. We're going to do the final testing on the Iron Man. 1750. 1750 is 288 gas on my tester. 288. I stuck off my clean. Yeah, that one felt good. I waited on it once. All right, guys, you saw me and Aaron just finish up swinging the Louisville Slugger Genesis Iron Man, the Iron Man, what is this, the 3.0 probably, um, 2024 version. So um, let's go over to weighting real quick. So 15.9 here, like almost 16, 10 here on the hands. That's kind of like your typical across the board balanced, uh, you know, scale weights. And honestly, I would have probably, I would swing a 27. I would definitely swing a 27, but I do feel like, I, I mean, I had to stay a little bit back on this because it's so light, but I mean, I just, I still do feel like I could have really just I could have gamed this right now, even though it's a 26 ounce, because the ball jumps off this barrel, and it's a huge sweet spot, guys. Now we did break this in properly, so where I hit some 50, uh, the uh, about 60 of the um, Fat Guy BP balls with the which are 52 300s, and um, kind of easily broke it in. And I didn't film that, but I just hit it off the tee in a, in, a, in the screen. But um, the ball comes off this bat even with 52 300s. Now, the one thing we kept noticing, man, we were like. For a bat that has no ass in it, the ball would just carry, man, because the ball would jump off this barrel. And I would have, I would definitely say, as far as balanced bats across the board, in, 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 compared to all bats, this is one of the top tier balanced bats I've swung all year. Um, I like the 14 inch barrel, but man, honestly, I'm gonna, go, I'll have to say, I prefer this one right here. Um, I like this one. You can't deny the cool looks of the paint job. I mean, that, that's definitely like the, what was it, the last Iron Man movie that came out. But, um, guys, even we put 200 swings on it, dropped down to like 288. And I mean, the, the test that high and the ball jump off it is insane. I mean, the steel test that high, but we did break it in properly. No seams guys. No seams at all. Now, this being a 26 ounce, I would have easily gone up to a 27 ounce for myself, but I do feel like I could have, I could game this. I could easily game this being so light because the ball jumps off this thing, man, and you get so much carry with the ball. And you, and of course, being a balanced bat, you can manipulate the bat. But if being able to manipulate the ball, the bat, and still have some authority on the ball when you're trying to place it and put it in spots, man, that that's that's what you want. And even like on your miss hits. You still hit the ball well. I mean, that's what's crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's a good way for me to, for people to judge a bat. Say, hey, is this bat good or for me or not? I was like, well, go take BP with it. You know, and it's hard to do sometimes. But I understand. But go take BP with a bat. And on your miss hits, if you're still hitting the ball good with that bat, man, that's your bat. But guys, take a look at these. These goes on sale this week. I believe it's July the third. Don't quote me on that, but you can use my discount code FGBP to save yourself about 20% off. But guys, I guess that's it. Until next time, keep hitting it. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, reach down there and hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later, guys. And also, if you got any questions, guys, hit me up, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. All right? Have a good day.